Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the swift camera that you can see in Backpack Quest here. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are trying to figure this out. And there are tons of videos on it. But I can make it short, sweet, and explain it pretty simply. So I'm going to do that right now. So in the camera object, in, the, in, in your camera object's create event, it's going to have a create event and a step event. That's it. It's actually really simple. Your, your room is going to have... Your room is going to be set, or the the view in your room is going to be set to follow the camera object. And then in the camera's create event, you're going to put view equals object player, whatever your player object's object name is. And that's about it. The instance create object background, that's for backpack quest. You don't really need to worry about that. That's for something completely different. This code is really short, and it's very easy to do. Now, I didn't use any clamp functions because I don't have that in Game Maker 8. But you really don't need it, honestly, because it's really simple. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how that works here in a second. Um, you guys could just copy it down if you want. So, here we have distance to object view is smaller than 10. The cam speed if the cam speed is smaller than or equal to one, then the cam speed is equal to zero. What this does is when the camera gets close to the object, it's going to stop. Otherwise, it would reach the object's XY position and kind of do this weird vibrating thing. It was, trust me, you're going to want to have that in there. And the other three lines essentially clamp the speed or what you would find in Game Maker Studio, except I had to do it in code because Game Maker 8 doesn't have that function. So essentially what this does is it just moves the camera towards, it moves the camera's XY position towards the player's XY position. And the speed at which the camera moves towards the player is a small algorithm that takes the distance between both objects and divides it by 10. So the closer the camera gets to the object or the player, the slower the camera gets. That's what gives you the gliding effect. And you sim just simply set the speed to the cam speed, and boom, that's it. And all those local variables you see don't have to be in the create event because they create in the step event. But that's about it. Mm -hmm.